Hello, hi. Welcome for the discussion. Here we are going to discuss about inter-VLAN routing. So, in general, two different VLANs won't communicate. That is, a device belongs to a particular VLAN, won't communicate with the other device that belongs to some other VLAN. So, if you want to communicate, if you want to establish a communication between two different VLAN, then we need to enable a routing between them. And this is known as uh, inter-VLAN routing or a router on a stick concept. So for this, we need to have either a router or a layer 3 switch to do so. Let's see in practical how does it works. So this is a simple scenario uh, in which we are going to uh, configure an inter-VLAN routing method. So here we are having a two VLANs, that's VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And I have assigned an IP for this uh, pieces belongs to VLAN as 10.0.0.24 address and uh, I have mentioned the default gateway is 10.0.0.50 and for this network it's 20.0.0.50 as its default gateway for this network. So in order to configure uh, inter-VLAN routing, first of all I need, I need to configure VLAN. So this is a simple LAN network so now I am going to create a VLAN. So. So if I'm if I want to uh, create a VLAN, this port should be an access port in which this two ports should support only the traffic of VLAN 10, and this two ports should support only the uh, traffic that belongs to VLAN 20. So this four ports to be in a access port mode. So first of all, I need to create a VLAN. So VLAN 10. So VLAN 10 is created. So as like the same, we need to create a VLAN 20. So now VLAN 20 is created. I need to uh, pass this VLAN in this downlinks. That's fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to 0 slash 4. So, sorry, so fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to 2. So the first two ports uh, should support only the traffic that belongs to VLAN 10. So, I am going to make this port as an access port that supports only a traffic of a particular VLAN. So, switch port mode access. Now, this port is converted as access port. Switch port access VLAN 10. So, now this first two ports become access port and VLAN 10 is assigned to this first two ports. So, henceforth, these two ports will support only the traffic of VLAN 10. As like the same, we need to do uh, the next two ports. So interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 4. So we need to make it as an access port. Access switch port. Access VLAN 20. So this is done. So these two ports. Uh, all these four ports are now access port, but this fast Ethernet 0 slash 5 should be in trunk port because it needs to uh, pass traffic of both VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. In general, trunk port is a port that allows a traffic of multiple VLANs. Access port is a port that, that allows a traffic of a particular VLAN that is assigned to the port. So these ports are configured as an access ports and this port is going to be in trunk port. So now Sorry. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 5. So now I need to, uh, I'm going to configure this port as a trunk port, which port mode trunk. And I'm going to specify what are the VLANs to be allowed in this trunk port, switch port. Switch port. It should be in trunk and should allow VLAN 10 in VLAN 20. So this port now becomes a trunk port and it's going to allow both the traffic of VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So now we are going to configure the router that should support for inter-VLAN concept. So, now what we are going to do is, 
actually here there is only one physical link between the switch and the router but now we are going to split this physical link into two logical or two sub links and uh, the reason is one logical or one sub sub link sub interface one sub interface will carry the traffic that belongs to vlan 10 and another sub interface will uh, another logical sub interface will carry the tra traffic of vlan 20 so now we are going to create a sub interface that is fast ethernet 0 slash g this should, this should be in this format uh, the interface that's directly physically connected should be mentioned and by when putting a dot we can create some sub interface so as i have used vlan 10 uh, i have used this dot 10 as a sub interface so no shut down so i need to uh, specify an ip address for this sub interface so this uh, the ip address that i am going to specify here is nothing but the gateway ip address of this network that is 10 0, 0 dot 50 255 ah, i'm sorry i just forgot to encapsulate the packet so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to encapsulate I'm going to encapsulate with the VLAN ID. Encapsulation dot one Q ten. This is nothing but a VLAN ID. So what this means is the traffic that comes in this particular sub interface will be tagged as ten to identify that this traffic belongs to the VLAN ten. So now I'm going to pass the IP address. So now shut down. So configuration of a particular uh, single sub interface is done. As like the same, we need to create an another sub interface that should carry a traffic of VLAN 20. So interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20. As we have used VLAN 20, uh, I have mentioned it 0 slash 20. So then no shut. And as like the same, we need to encapsulate the packet of VLAN 20. So encapsulation dot one Q 20 to encapsulate the uh, traffic of VLAN 20. Now I'm going to pass an IP address for this interface. That's nothing but the gateway IP address of this network. That's VLAN 20 network. No shutdown. So now sub interface configuration is over. Just like the same, we need to unshed the physical port. I'm sorry. So now router configuration is over. Even if we check in the router. We can know these networks are directly connected. So that's the reason we are using a router here to communicate between the different VLANs. Let's check here. Now I'm going to ping from this. To VLAN 20. That's 20.0.0.1. It will ping. Even it belongs to a different VLAN. Now it will communicate. This is known as inter VLAN routing. So as like the same, let's check from here. From VLAN 20, I'm going to ping to VLAN 10. That's 10.0.0.1. So it's pinging. So this is how it works. Now I have pinged from here. I have communicated from here to here. In general, uh, there are different two different VLANs won't communicate but now it's possible due to the concept inter VLAN routing so for more details please subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video